The coronavirus pandemic is likely to have a significant and even transformative effect uh, on the Arab world. Uh, much of the focus has been on the humanitarian impact on displaced persons and, and refugees. And while that's certainly significant, it could also have a broader effect on the entire uh, Arab order. Uh, the most damaging and ruinous effects are going to be in those conflict-afflicted states, Yemen, Syria, and Libya, where there's already an obliterated medical capacity. Uh, and war in these states is really going to act like a, a disease amplifier. Uh, the fighters there and even mercenaries could be vectors for the virus. Um, but beyond this, the virus could also impact seemingly stable um, Arab states. Now, the wealthy Gulf monarchies, their situation is affected by low oil prices. And what we'll probably see is they're going to be able to weather this storm. But they could also tighten their belts. And that means they're not going to give money as they have before to poorer Arab states that depended on their assistance during this crisis. So therefore, Egypt, Morocco, Jordan, these states are really going to be in for a rough time. Now, it's not to say that revolution is going to break out uh, immediately, but we have to remember that in a number of Arab states before this crisis, there were already protests underway, uh, not necessarily for democracy, but over governance, things like um, high prices, economic uh, inequity, and those demands are not going to go away, and they're possibly going to be sharpened uh, by this crisis. Uh, in addition, the one bright spot in the Arab world, Tunisia, uh, this democracy is going to be incredibly strained, and how Tunisia navigates this crisis could be a crucial test for Arab democracy itself.